especially in the bass. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Wendy Wata here, currently in Nairobi, packing up for a road trip from Kenya to Burundi by road. I literally just decided on a whim a few minutes ago to actually make it all the way to Bujumbura in Burundi. So this trip is going to take me from Kenya to Uganda to Rwanda and on to Burundi and I'm super excited. I feel like if you live in East Africa, this is like a basic trip that I should have taken at this point. I'm going to break down the entire trip into a series of videos. In this video, I'll be going from Kenya, Nairobi to Kampala. You'll be seeing firsthand how you two can plan a similar trip. The back I booked is Modern Coast and it costs 3,500 Kenya shillings and I just booked a normal seat. I didn't book the VIP. Why did I go with Modern Coast? Honestly, I have no idea why. But there are other bus options if you're looking to take this journey. I'll tell you how it goes. I hope the bus tomorrow is fine. It's quite a long journey. Apparently, it's going to take about 13 hours or so. We'll see about that. So I really hope it's comfortable. I hope <laughs> it's not going to be hectic. Uh, currently, just packing up. I've already found my three most important documents. My passport, my yellow fever certificate, and my bank card, which I'm not going to show you. I will see you guys tomorrow with my bags all packed and ready to set off on this big adventure. Yay! Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'm in the bus right now, boarding is in the Accra Road office in Nairobi, CBD. This bus actually goes all the way to Kigali, so you can pay 4,900 and go directly to Kigali. I'm going to be dropping off in Kansai. And as predicted, the bus is packed. I mean, no one saw that coming at all. Huh? Actually, an hour late. An hour behind. Who knows if they're even going to leave anytime soon. So here's our car. Literally stuck in traffic. Just look at this. This is not opening up anytime soon. Yeah. So we're just wandering around. So there are cars going this way and they're in the lane that we actually should be using. Where will the driver pass it? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody just stretching right now. Bus here. <laughs> this trip was supposed to take 13 hours. First of all, the bus was two hours late. <laughs> and now we've been stuck in this traffic for one hour and it still doesn't look look at this. It's like this this road, there's cars going all different directions. No, 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 no. <laughs> like some are going, it looks like it's a one way, but it's like a multi way street. <laughs> Dang. But by the time we first see our. Oh, Kunambil. So, guys, have stopped to buy food at this little petrol station. Here we are. Out here in Nakuru, we were stuck in traffic for like an hour and a half and that, then now we're making the usual mandatory stop for lunch. That's another two hours off the time, so we were supposed to be arriving in Kampala very early in the morning. This is going to take even later than we anticipated. So, just buying food, there's a little stop behind me. And then we'll head on. That traffic was insane. There's also like a serious little shortage along this route in case you're driving. Come here, Lisa. So we just crossed the border guys. The level of corruption going on at this border is spectacular. I almost have to hand it to them. My goodness, let's not even get into it. We'll ever get to a point where corruption isn't so rife. But thankfully I've crossed over. I'm here sitting waiting for the bus. So this entire process has taken what? Has it been two hours? It's taken about two hours. So that's already five hours of the trip. The bus was two hours late. We were stuck in that traffic for an hour. Crossing the border has been another two hours. So that's like five whole hours derailment, you know? So from here, it's about four hours to Kampala, right? From here, it's about four hours to Kampala. So I'm just waiting to board. It's about 5 a.m. And considering we were supposed to have left Nairobi at two.
another breakdown and I was dead asleep this time so <sighs> guys I don't know how long this journey is gonna take look I'm just tired at this point sleepy but we're broken down on the busier side and you see the moment I saw this bus I knew something like that was going to happen this bus does that all the time what are you on the case Jay? Mm. I don't know why they will use this bus to leave the actually go to kick. Look at these guys pushing the bus. <laughs> oh, wow. I used to really like Modern Coast and even now I just booked it out of habit. But man, I don't know what's going on at that company lately because they are a hot mess. They are down bad. I don't know if it's, we're just coming to the end of an era or something, but those guys need to figure out their stuff, you know, because people pay to get to places safely and on time. And the issues with modern course revolve around three things from what I've had and what I've experienced. One, so now this lorry is coming in to jumpstart the battery for the bus ticket so they'll cancel your ticket and then just lump you onto the next bus then now you're double booked with someone else or you have to find some emergency seat or you're just stranded and you don't even know you know where you're going to sit or how you're even going to get there and this happened to me when i was coming back from kigali unfortunately they're the only bus that goes directly from kigali to nairobi so they're unreliable you know and then third a lot of the issues also revolve around buses breaking down along the way and it's like this happens so consistently that it's like, why don't they just sort this out? Why are they still sending out these buses on the way, trying to make money, but then they're leaving passengers stra stranded along the way? Not cool, modern course. Like, sort your company out. So, found a bike going to Chanja. Let's do this. So, I made it to the apartment I booked through to Bayo in Kampala. It's a beautiful beautiful place i'm just happy to be here after that hectic trip overall we were like five hours later than anticipated and to get here i just hopped on a border board i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to say goodbye at this point modern coast turned out to be exactly as predicted and it's funny because like through my stories and even the lady who manages this accommodation when i just mentioned that oh i came through modern coast everyone was just like why why did you do that so they have a reputation and boy did they live up to it the adventure continues now in kampala and from tomorrow i'm going to be exploring kampala which is where the next video is going to be which is what the next video is going to be about i will catch you from right in this house as the kampala adventure continues and then further on to kigali and to bujumbura in burundi